I've been hoping to produce this episode for quite a while now, and it's not because I didn't have the time or the will to do it, it's that I actually didn't have the hardware. A few months ago, I bought a pretty old 2007-2008 Lenovo ThinkPad X60 tablet. Now, it's quite old. I mean, 11 years old is quite old for a computer. We actually did a video on it. We showed that we were able to get Windows 10 to work, and pretty much all the features and functionality worked on it. But after about a month and a half or two, I realized that the battery had died. I plugged it in and it started flashing yellow, even though the charge said it had 72% battery life left. So I took it to the shop that I bought it from and they said that they'd try to order a battery and get back to me within a couple days. Now we're not gonna talk about the shop itself because you know, up until this time, I actually had a really good experience with them, but it took two months to get this sorted out with very little communication. So that's why we're doing this video here today. We have this 2010, 2011 kind of ish Lenovo ThinkPad X201 tablet. Again, we're using a tablet, but this is way more powerful than what we had before. Now, before we dive into this computer, I do want to give a big shout out to the R ThinkPad community. You guys on Reddit have been there to help me out with the last couple months trying to figure out what to do with the, either the X60 or trying to decide whether or not I should get this X201. You guys have a great resource there of people who really love these machines. And if anybody else is out there who really wants to get into the wacky world of IBM ThinkPads, that's definitely the place to go. Now let's talk about the specs of this computer and why I'm so excited about it. Now don't get me wrong, this is nothing compared to whatever you can buy today. It's so underpowered by even a basic laptop's standards. It's not even funny. But I do like the ruggedness of a ThinkPad, especially the older ones. And really the reason why I got the other one was because it said IBM on it. This one doesn't, but it actually has a lot more power than the other one I had. And this actually makes it a lot more usable. So this actually has an Intel Core i7-L620. It's a two gigahertz dual core processor with hyper-threading. So it's actually pretty competent, especially for a laptop that came out about eight years ago. Now it certainly is older even than the first PC that I built with true gaming performance, which had an i7-950. So it is quite a bit slower, but two gigahertz is quicker than what I had before. And to be fair, everything that I need this machine to do with Windows 10 works phenomenally well. Now it currently has four gigs of RAM in it. You can upgrade it to eight if you want. It doesn't seem to be a big issue, but I'm not really gonna be worrying about that right now. It does have a 64-bit operating system. That was one of the issues that we had actually when we had the X60 tablet, is no matter what you wanted to do with that thing, it was still a 32-bit processor, so you were stuck. So even though when I took the SSD out of the X60 tablet and put it into this, and everything pretty much worked right out of the box, I wanted to reinstall Windows with that 64-bit version. So I reformatted the whole drive, installed Windows 10 Professional 64-bit, and it's been working flawlessly since. So let's go over some of the features of this before we get into a little bit more about it. On the top here, you have this strange little nub. It's something that you don't usually see on really any laptop, but especially a ThinkPad. It is a 3G Qualcomm antenna, so you can actually put a SIM card in here and use 3G mobile broadband if you wanted to. Now, whether it still works today is to be seen, and unfortunately, that's the only driver I can't get installed on this machine currently. The other feature is it has a capacitive touchscreen, or at least it's supposed to. I haven't been able to get it to work with my fingers. It is something that was sort of developed during the Windows 7 era, which wasn't really a touch-enabled operating system, but Windows 10 is obviously more of a touch-oriented OS. You do have a stylus, though. Pops in actually a different location than it was on the X60 tablet, but it works pretty well. If you want to be able to use it, it works. You can certainly draw things and use it as a tablet. The only thing that I have noticed with it I mean, I've only been using it for a day now, is when you do switch the screen around and fold it flat and try to use it, the track point actually gets stuck and it'll move the cursor around as you're using it. So I don't know if there's just something that I'm not doing properly or if maybe the track point isn't the right size and I have to replace it. It's a bit of an annoyance and I don't know, I didn't see any reviews back in 2010 as we were researching this to see if those were other issues that people were experiencing. Now, as mentioned, I did put my OCZ Vertex 3 SSD in here. It's a 240 gig SSD, and it creates a phenomenal experience on this. Everything opens up so quick, the OS launches in about 10 seconds, 15 seconds. So it really speeds things up, because I did try it before with the original 250 gig, 5400 RPM drive, and it was painfully slow. It took like a minute, minute and a half probably to get onto your desktop. So if you do buy something like this, definitely get an SSD. It is gonna speed things up quite a bit. Now around the sides of the computer, there's not much. You do have a dial-up port, headphone, microphone, USB on one side. On the other side, another USB, gigabit ethernet, VGA port, and that's about it, your power on the side as well. The issue with this, if you can call it that, is it's not an actual genuine Lenovo battery. This is an aftermarket one. And the problem is it 
I believe it is an eight cell. It actually doesn't fit on the dock that came with it. So you have to take the battery off as of now in order to dock the device, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. But at some point I will be ordering a, still probably gonna be aftermarket battery, but at least one that will fit. Now the dock itself, I'm actually really surprised. I mean, everybody who buys a ThinkPad probably wants to have a dock. That's the whole point of these. I remember when I was at IBM, all I wanted was a dock and to be able to deploy devices with their laptop and dock, because I think it was so cool. You could have your workstation in your office, just dock your computer and everything shows up there. It's really cool. Now this one actually is a little bit different from the one that we saw in the X60. Obviously it's a different docking station altogether, but it actually has more features than I was expecting. Along the side, you do have a DVD and CD writer, which is a nice upgrade. Another USB port. I didn't get the key, unfortunately, which is too bad. Along the sides, you do have a eject button because you do need to eject these properly before, whether it's through the OS or the hardware button. And then around back is actually where things get quite interesting. You have three USB ports, a VGA port, more microphone and headphone jack, ethernet again, a Kensington lock, but you also have a display port, which I thought was really cool. I mean, this device came out in 2010, and I guess DisplayPort was around then, but I think it was just interesting that this computer could support DisplayPort through there. Now there's one little thing on the side that I was super surprised about, and even when I went back to the store, because again, very short story, when we picked this up, the battery was dead on it again. So I was starting to think maybe it was the SSD that failed and continued to kill these batteries. But regardless, when I went back, they had another X201 tablet with the dock and another battery, and they gave me the battery that worked. But I was showing them that on the side of the dock here, there's a little tab that pops out and reveals a little spot that you can actually plug in another battery to charge. So if you're using a regular battery that fits on your laptop while you're docked, you can be charging the battery that's there as well as a second battery. So if you're really a hardcore user and you need maximum battery life and for some reason wanted to buy a 10 year old laptop, you can get the job done. I think it's really cool that you're able to charge the battery on the side so now what is the point of having this? As I mentioned, it is an older computer, but it does run pretty well. And as you see, we're gonna be starting it up right here and gets to the desktop actually really quickly as mentioned with that SSD. But what am I gonna do with it? I'm gonna actually use it, obviously. It's got Windows 10, so it is the most recent operating system that Microsoft has offered. It does need a little bit of love. It is missing some of the little feet, one of the ones here on the corner for the screen so it doesn't break it as it goes down. It's also missing a foot on the bottom and there's some scuff marks and stuff throughout it. So I'm gonna to try to clean it up a little bit, but I'm actually really impressed with it. it. Didn't cost too much, and I'm not gonna reveal how much because it is embarrassing how much I've had to pay for it, but overall, I'm quite satisfied with it. Well, there you have it. That is my little 2010 X201 tablet that I bought for some amount of money. Let us know if you like this video in the comments below what you think about this tablet, if you think it's something worth picking up, and if you think that's something that you'd be interested in. We're trying to do more here on PRN Tech. And obviously it's a new channel and it makes us feel like it's a new thing for us entirely. It's almost like we're starting from scratch, not only from a channel perspective, but also from actually doing all this. It really feels like I'm starting YouTube all over again with this channel. So we're obviously working to improve the quality and also the timing of our videos to make sure that there's a little bit more consistency. We've got things going pretty solid on test drive, but it's like starting all over again over here. So I hope you like this video and until next time, take care.